it's uh, just kind of like my little homage to uh, just when, when you break up and your friends are like, ah, just let's just go get a, a 30 pack and just forget all about it. It's like, yeah, but dude, you didn't see her. You weren't there. You don't know what I'm feeling right now. Piss off, you know? So, yeah, and it's the uh, number two song on my CD, my newest CD. Yeah. I took a drive down to the bridge just to sit and reminisce and read graffiti from old friends. It's where they told me to let her go. These little towns ain't for us all. Yeah, the neighbor did on the stair. But they didn't see her dancing on the rooftop with her wife cause they still love her right now the pictures are faded she's a thousand miles away i hear she's moving on but i hope she sings along when she hears our song Now there ain't much that I would change Well maybe I'd buy her a ring To see if she would stay But they all said no Cause you never know Maybe there's really a pot of gold At the end of rainbows But they Cause they still love her right now The pictures are faded She's a thousand miles away And I hear she's moving on I hope she stays along When she hears our song And she thinks about me She dreams of They still love her right now The pictures are faded She's a thousand miles away And here she's moving on I hope she sings along Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope she's singing along I hope she's singing along. Thank you very much. When I wrote that song, I, I was I was just kind of also thinking it's kind of a little that last little jab you get, like that song's gonna come on the radio, and then you know it's like you know it's gonna be oh it's, just, it's, it's gonna kill her you know, but not not literally I don't mean kill yeah uh, no not that kind of kill I just mean like oh she'd be falling, but you know she's really not so. I, it's yeah I, I went too far didn't I. <laughs> I, I didn't mean she actually wanted to blow a tire and hit a culvert. I, I didn't mean that. I, I just meant she just wanted to hear our song and, and cry, that's all. Are you laughing at me or with me? Okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> Here's, here's one I wrote. It's called 
Free Freebird. I can I can do Freebird. I can do a ten minute freaking version of Freebird if you want it. There's no stairway. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this next one I'm going to do is called uh, Keep On Walking. And it sounds like it has attitude, you know, like I'll keep on walking, you know, like a, like a limp business going, like, 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 a, like you're in the middle of a fight. And like, yeah, that's right, keep on walking. But it's, it's just about, you know, in, the, in crampy times, you know, just uh, try and surge through and, and get through it. I wrote it, um, and this, I had a heck of a time with the second verse. I was having a hell of a time. And, and then finally I was uh, on the, the patio. My little sister, not my sister that's actually here, Lori back there waving at me right there. She, yeah, she's a cutie. Um, but she was sitting uh, uh, in the hammock reading Jane Eyre. And uh, I'm like, oh my God, finally, after like a year working a song, I've got to finish it because I, I got inspired. But in, in the song, I say, when you read Jane Eyre to me, and people are like, why, why are you talking about people reaching into you? I'm like, man, it's not, I'm, nobody's reaching into me. It's, it's, it's G, J and error. So anyway, it's called Keep On Walking. I wrote it probably back in like, oh, s six or seven. And it's just kind of a, I don't know. I, I like to think of it as sort of a, heart well, a heartwarming sort of a ditty, so. Thank you very 
much. You guys want to hear a joke? Yeah, sure. I, I'm not really much, I, I'm not a comedian. I'll play another song, though. So if you want to hear a joke, I guess I... No, I might tell one later. Um, all right, this next one is called, uh, I'm going to play one called Stealing June. And uh, it's just one that I um, wrote. I just was honestly just playing chords, and I thought they were pretty. And so um, it just started singing about, you know, just basically just about someone sleeping, I guess. And after I wrote it, I thought, that's kind of a dick. You know, you're like, she's sleeping. Just leave her, let her sleep. You know, quit trying to wake her up. You know, but it just, it just was pretty, and that's what it's kind of about, basically like a guy that's like, you know, just didn't want to, you know, go through the rest of the night just alone, just staring at CNN or something. So he wanted his his girlfriend, whatever it is, to wake up. But the uh, the the my favorite part about this song is the dream sequence in the second verse, like trying to guess what she's dreaming about. Uh, is my my dad told me a, a, a dream he had when he was a little kid, one of those reoccurring dreams that that, you know, just kind of freak you out when you're like little. And um, he said that um, somehow he made it to the moon. I think he was like, said he was like five or six when he started having these dreams. But he got to the moon anyway, and he somehow wrapped steel around it. And the government was pissed off and they showed up at his door and said, little boy, you have 24 hours to get the steel off that damn moon. Are you going to prison for the rest of your life? And and, and dad was, you know, when he told me that story, he just kind of started almost tearing up. Like he just was just freaked out about, you know, how, how in the hell, I, you know, I'm like five. How do I get to the moon and take the steel off? You know, that would be a lot of settling and just, you know, all the, you know, and that's, that's what dad. So I, I had to throw the little, in the, in the second verse, the dream sequence. Is it that damn funny, Jason? So this song is called Stealing June. I think about dad every time that I play it because the little, you know, dream sequence. Oh, so here it goes. The ticking clock is the only sound. Beside your breath going in and out I can't sleep so I watch you dream I hope you're dreaming about me But wake up I'm fighting on me down Through the morning Wake up Wake up right now I bet you're dreaming of stealing June Wrapping steel around the moon Or deep sea diving in your car Wherever you are, just wake up And follow me down Through the morning oh, Wake up, wake up right now And that don't mean that you can Sleep while the morning rain is coming down. Just wake up and find on me down through the morning. Wake up, wake up right now.
ticking clock is the only sound Inside your breath going in and out And I can't sleep so I watch a dream I hope you're dreaming about me Wake up if I know me down Okay, this, this next song is, is called uh, This Afternoon, and I literally wrote it because my second CD was, was almost done, and I thought, I'm going to have to give a prescription to Prozac with my CD because it was just that damn sad. Everything's about a chick leaving or just whatever. I'm like, I, I have to cheer this up. So I sat, it was the most left brain song I'd ever written because it was just like, I have to write a damn song that's not about a chick leaving or a, something shitty happening. So, so I, 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 I said, well, what would Jimmy Buffett do? And he would write a song about, a, a, you know, meeting a chick at a beach or something fun going on, you know, because I didn't want people to listen to the CD and then, and then off themselves is what I was hoping didn't happen. So... So I literally, they're, they're, that's the only story behind this. I sat down and said, you have all this crap in your head that, that's, you just have to write a song that's just happy. So this is called This Afternoon and, and it's, it is what it is. So it's, it's com completely, completely fiction and completely, I wrote it so my CD wasn't just like a Stephen King movie. And it's got a, sh a lot of words in it. I when I recorded it, like like my like my producer Eric was like, oh, you just have to we have to break this into pieces because you're, you're gonna have an asthma attack or pass out. It, it's it's that it's it's a lot. See if you see me getting lightheaded or something, you might want to call an ambulance. Somebody say something. Yeah, I'm running for medical. Okay. <laughs> It's another summer day, come and gone away, but it's all right. Cause we got all this afternoon and later we got tonight, yeah. So come around, let me see you smile. I miss that silly way you walk. We can take a taxi here and later I'll take you home. Cause I'm on my way, you're on my mind. Meet me at the beach this afternoon. We can walk up Ocean Avenue. Watch the sun sink. Stay to hear the band in the suits play some nacho tunes, watch for shooting stars and laugh all night. We started off at Java Joe's over covers, spill highs and lows. We both know you've got your stories, and I got mine. So we talk about your car, our new friends and favorite bars. Then we talk about how we both miss country nights. And oh, by the way, I'm glad you had time to meet me at the beach this afternoon. We can walk up Ocean Avenue, watch the sun sinking in the waves. Then we'll stay to hear the band in the suits play some nocturnes, watch for shooting. Walk up Ocean Avenue, watch the sun sinking in the waves. Then we'll stay to hear the band in the suits, play some nitro tunes, watch 
All right, this next one's called um, Nobody's Girl. It's, it, I haven't, I recorded it, but it's not uh, on a CD yet. But I had, a, I had a, uh, a friend that was going through some hard times, and like a divorce and all this kind of stuff. She, I'll, I'll call her sub Subject Bean, just to protect the innocent. Um, but she was going through some crappy times, going through a divorce, and and uh, I've been friends with this, this person a long time, and I was. Just, I remember, like, uh, just listening to everything she was saying about, you know, like the, the, you know, how bottled up inside she was and confused and just everything. And all I could think of the whole time was, you know, I, I went on a train, a train ride one time, and it just seemed to fix everything. Just, just it seemed like just connecting with Earth, almost like just everything was better. So, so you know, after we got done with our little talk, um, I did, I just. Literally, I just sat down. I just started playing this song, and I, I recorded it. Where I recorded uh, Eclipse in Bloomington, and I, I said, "Just produce the shit out of it. I want it. I want it big. I want you know." And that's what it almost sounds like. Uh, In the air tonight by Phil Collins. It's just it's there's a lot of low bass, and it's just it's so cool sounding. But um, so I there's three people in the world that's heard this acoustic so far. But, but I, I, I just I just think it's cool because I, I wrote it and everything I wrote is cool. <laughs> I'm just te I'm just I'm just I'm just teasing. But it's called Nobody's Girl, so So we remember we knew what love was all about. Then the truth came and it blew our candles out. The same, the same world that you knew years before. Your heart was broken and you don't want to stay for more. You're thinking you could run away. On a train, hear the winds through the glass, feel the cadence of the tracks, fall in love with the world, and for a while be nobody's girl. You have your life paint, new strings on your this time tomorrow, you need to be just where you are. Maybe you should run away on a train. Hear the winds through the glass, hear the cadence of the tracks. Fall in love with the world for a while, be nobody's.
Nobody's good. <laughs> So while my capo was on my fourth fret, I wasn't going to sing this song until I found out Jim Klinkerot was going to come because he just texted me a few weeks ago and was talking about how much he liked Let's Roll. Oh Unfortunately, there's not, a, there's not a giant elaborate story behind Let's Roll. I was in Nashville in a hotel and it, just, it was just one of the, I just needed a getaway. I was in Nashville and I just freaking literally grabbed the guitar, put a capo on the fourth fret and wrote Let's Roll, but it was one of those songs that didn't come together right away. I had to puzzle it together. Like, it was one of the, the, probably the first song I, that I had to really think, you know, make everything work right, you know? Because it used to be back in the day, I would just write a song and be like, that's it, it's done. I'm not gonna, you can't change it. It came out, it's just done, you know? But then I realized that doesn't always work because a song, you know, can, can just suck and you have to tweak it and that doesn't suck. But it's, it's just a song I wrote about just getting the hell out of, I, I guess I sh probably, probably should have showered last week. This Nat's trying not to get to me. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I, I wrote it in Nashville in a hotel and finished it the weekend later. And So you need some rock put back in your row. We need to get out of this town. Let's take the interstate where we can daydream of back roads where it's only you and me. The only question is which way to go. Austin. It's been a while since I've been to Boston. Anywhere we go, it's better than here. It's better than here.
All right, this song was also written in the hotel. We were in L.A., Lance. Do you remember that first morning in the hotel when you opened the curtains? And Lance is like, hello, L.A. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's pretty. But I, I, I was just kind of messing with the song. I was sitting in the, in the, in the bed just kind of messing with some chords. And like, I was like, there's really no way to make hello, L.A. Hello LA sound cool. It's 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 always gonna have that hello LA vibe, you know. Hello LA, you know. So, but I just kind of incorporated like just my thoughts of LA. Like LA is beautiful, but it's getting the shit beat out of it too. I mean, it's just like LA. Just it's like this. Just, just everybody's there, just with a dream and a vision and a goal. And it's just it's like oh my god, it's just so so pretty, but just getting just beat up. That's that was my my thoughts of LA. So after Lance opened the curtains of the hotel uh, room that morning, and so it was like, hello, LA. I'm like, I, I just have to just go with that. So I, I just, and then I forgot about the song. Like a year later, literally, Lance was like, that song sounded cool you wrote that time, so you have to finish it. I'm like, yeah, you're stupid. It, it didn't sound good. <laughs> I know you're not stupid. But it, it, I just thought it sounded silly. But... Um, I wrote this. It's on my second CD, um, number th three, and it's I, I it's, it's I had the my producer Eric kind of make it. It's almost got like a YouTube vibe. It's it's, it's kind of like got like a nice nice beat to it. But so I will play Hello LA for you. Now the sun. Sits down inside of you In the plane I was on is gone It's faded from view From a taxi on the freeway I see surfers on the beach And dreams for sale so far out of reach Hello LA Now with loveless eyes you stare back and pour out all my flaws so I know on your corners and Botox in your stars There's a guy on Broadway who thinks he might be from Mars Hello LA What happened to you? You're breathing like you're but you look like Jim And you got your share of demons That are tearing you apart But you're still beautiful and bright Surfers on the beach, dream 
place for sale But they're so far out of reach Hello, Willie What happened to you? You're breathing like you're alright But you look like Jim Got your share of demons that are tearing you apart, but you're still beautiful and breaking her hearts. Hello, LA. Hello, LA. Thank you very much. I'm going to play a song I wrote called Carousel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know. I actually have uh, <laughs> I actually have on my little set list here carousel question mark. I wasn't sure if I was gonna play it or not, and then I saw that you were here. So I thought <laughs> But I, I yeah, there's not a real fancy genesis to this song either. It's just kinda uh, I was just one day thinking about how um, a carousel is kinda like, you know, it's just kinda like life, you know, round and round up and down. And you know, I was, I was even thinking like carousels might get stuck in a in a town, you know, just that's literally I was just kinda just started playing some pretty chords and I was like, hey, what the hell, you know, a carousel, okay. So yeah, there's there's nothing, you know, I wasn't in there like, you know, Brazil or anything when I wrote this. There's nothing really cool. Just I wrote it. So and and, Bill, and Billy's daughter loves it. So far she's the only person I know that really loves it. <laughs> she did say that. She did say it. And I said, yeah, don't brush her. You try it. Don't brush her. I hope two people like this song. Well, if one of y'all like it, it's two people then. Because I hate it. It's stupid. But I wrote it. No, it's joking. you close, want to pull you near, I want to call you mine, I just want to whisper dear, underneath that bridge where we used to go, I want to watch you dance in the pouring rain, spin around like a star in a hurricane, to an imaginary stereo, so I say stop, Wait right there, don't move a thing, don't touch your hair Cause I want to stay to capture this So my mind never lets it go We're riding around, we're up and down Sometimes dark in a little town This life, this love, it's a carousel So come to my island, swim in my sea the stars came out for you and me It's up, it's down, it's round and around It's life, it's love, it's a carousel I want to make you laugh Cause it makes my day When I can take your cares away While we're on this carousel And as we dance let the sun go down so it comes up in another time So the moon gets its chance to glow So 
So I say stop, wait right there Don't move a thing, don't touch your hair Cause I won't stay to capture this So my mind never lets it go Round and around, we're all bent out Sometimes stuck in a little town This life, this love, it's a carousel So come to my jungle, swing in my tree The moon came out for you and me It's up, it's down, it's round and around It's life, it's love, it's a carousel So when the world gets cold You can't feel your toes I'll keep you warm I'll keep you until we get out with aching bones, I'll keep you going. Round and round, we're up and down. Sometimes stuck in a little town. The slap, the slow, it's a carousel. So come to my Thank you very much. Did you like it? That's two people. Did it give you chills, Jim? Three. Okay, three. That's all I need. That's all I need. This is getting dirty. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play a song that's off my first. Um, sweater? The sweater song. I'll, I'll call it cops. If you're gonna do this, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do this to me, I'll call it cops. No, this. this uh, <laughs> All right, this, this next one, it, I, it's called Two Story Fairlane. And uh, yeah, yeah, you like that one, don't you, Billy? Okay, if we get one more person. This is my top five, yes. We got two people, we got one more, that's, you know, I'm, I'm, up, I'm up with the Beatles if I get one more of y'all. Okay, well, so um, I grew up around semis, right? Like my, my dad, my grandpa, my great grandpa, we all, you know. So we got, we acquired this truck several years ago. Thank God we scrapped it out and it's, it's melted down to something else because I hated this damn truck. It was a huge Ford cab over semi and they named it the two story Edsel because it was, it, uh, it was just a, a huge Ford semi, the two story, because Ed, Edsel's a Ford. And I, so I thought Edsel's just has a, a neat ring, but it could be better. So I, I, I thought two-story Fairlane. So then I started thinking one day how to incorporate that into a song. I thought, man, that'd be so cool to write a song about how there's like an old man that had an old Fairlane. He had his memories with it. And then years later, some kid gets it, and then he makes his own memories with it. So that's, that's pretty much what I was thinking. And it's... So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see what y'all see y'all think. It's called Two Story Fairlane. But that's that's where I came up with it.
It's a kind of small town that some never leave. Nothing happens, and when it does, everyone sees there's a man on Fifth Street with pain in his eyes. He watches and leaves fall to the ground as the gas prices rise. He etches a cross in the dusty window. Remembers a girl that he knew before the war. He used to drive down to the lake in his dad's new boat. He'd hold hands and laugh, and the one night they kissed. He's known lots of girls, but none quite like this. He spills out her name in the dusty wind. So twenty-some years worth the summers have passed The old man now lies under the grass The young man at the estate sale says He's seen all fours but not quite like this He stares at the price in the dusty wind I'll get the keys and I'll get cash. I'm taking this home. Thank you very much. Two story fairway. I guess I should probably be telling you guys when I wrote that. I wrote that song when I was five. <laughs> that's, that's, that's no. <laughs> hey, you shush you. Any questions so far? Anybody want to heckle? You got some rotten tomatoes you want to throw up here? Lance, you got something you want to throw? My brother Lance back there, he's also a singer, songwriter, painter. <laughs> got a bunch of Billy, Jim Cleekrod, Jim Smith. We got a bunch of singer, songwriters in here. <laughs> Sarah, and well, you're way over there, right? <laughs> Sarah Marie Dillard. <laughs> any, any, any you had, have, you ever had Have I ever had panties sewn up with um, Son of a bitch. Take it up. Would you guys give me if I put this on my head for the next song? Go. 
Good God. What is this for a 2,500 month old? I had to run off the pregnancy Are you shitting me? I'm not, I'm not smelling anything, guy. I'm not smelling that. Does that help it? <laughs> this, little, this little cheat sheet right here I got. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like the tape going over there. Yeah. It's my happy place. I just... No, no, I got a little stupid set list. I... Yeah. <laughs> you guys are the devil. Any requests? Any, anything you want to hear? He was a big part of it. Um, honestly, Gordon Lightfoot was a big. Yeah, I love Gordo. Yeah, yeah, Beach Boys, believe it or not, because they, they wrote happy stuff. But see, they were sad and wrote happy stuff. I'm a happy guy and write sad stuff about breaking us. I don't, I don't understand it. So I, like, I need to write slow, like sad stuff to wind me down. Okay, you know what? I was gonna do. I was, I was debating. I, I have dibs on the next request. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is it something I didn't write? Is it? Oh my God! Shit. Make it up as you go. All right. This next song I wrote. It's called a toast. It's kind of like my homage to all my party days. Like I, I, I did a, I, I did a lot of. Partying, guitar playing around bonfires. I actually have a guitar that that's burnt from poking it fires with it. It was just it's just my party guitar, so I didn't care. But but uh, so this this is this is kind of like just just my song about all that, like all my you know partying years and and uh, I'd love to get this son of a gun on like a beer commercial. I, I just want to write like you know like Anheuser and be like I don't I don't want any damn money. Just put in this you know. That's what I'd like to see happen. So this song is called A Toast. Shine makes another 
little talk And it all feels right Yeah, we all feel alive So we all raise our glasses Way up high Cause here's a toast to the wrong ones That felt so right Here's a toast to the dog That will live the perfect night Here's a toast to tomorrow And just a day Here's a toast to our new friends And the ones that went away And the ones that went away all along And the ones that went away The ground that they showed And the ones that never lied Even if they could So all these perfect nights Is a fade into the dark Raise up your glasses And sing along much. Actually, Billy, I think I almost named that Here's a Toast, and then you said, no, you like a toast better. I'm like, I better listen to Billy. Sorry, I, I just thought I was by myself up here, just kind of chilling, and here you guys are waiting for another song. Here's one I wrote. It's on my first CD and my second CD because I re-recorded because I felt like it deserved a. You know, excited, April. What, what are you thinking? Runway lights? Oh, okay. This this well, thanks very much. This one's this one's pretty sad and and, and uh, well, I shouldn't say that. You can form your own opinion. But um, I, I just love airports every time I fly anywhere because it's, it's, you know, it's obviously just a hub for planes to take off and, you know, and, and uh, land and people just to, but to a songwriter, you see like all the, you, you want to hear every story. I wish I could just like just run around and ask everybody, okay, why the hell are you here? What's going on? Are you getting divorced? Like what, why are you flying away? You know, like what's going on? What's going on in your life that you're at the airport? That's what I want to know, you know? But since you can't do that, you have to make your own shit up. So, but so um, this one's called Runway Lights, and uh, it, it's it's kind of a it's just a song I wrote, like uh, just picturing what some of the conversations could be on the way to, or you know, on the way home from a from a uh, from an airport. And that that's basically it. I just uh, just kind of tried to picture. You know what was going on in some of these people's lives that they're you know so Stretch a road in a conversation Go nowhere as we press on Into the night Was it something that I said Or that I'm not saying That is tearing you up inside I look at you You look away There's something more you want to say Just can't go there tonight We 
got a long stretch of road and a conversation going nowhere. We press on and on and on and on and on. Well, I know that you're into me, but that's not my concern. Cause I've seen how things can change, and someday we will learn. The life is tough and sometimes love to stand enough to hold on, hold on. I know you're Fake and sleep at the terminal gates, but you wake up and then you grab your bags. Was it something that I did or that I never did that made life with me so bad? I look at you, you walk away, there's nothing more you want to say, you just want to board the plane. It's 2 a.m. and I guess it ends this way With the runway lights that call your name Well, I know that you're into me But that's not my concern Cause I have seen how things can change And someday we will learn That life is tough and sometimes Love just stay enough to hold Thank you very much. Sorry, it was kind of sort of sad. Hey, Sarah, what was your request? Because oh, yes. <laughs> if you want a Bat Medler song, I can play a damn Bat Medler song. <laughs> it must have been cold there in my shadow <laughs> to never have sunlight on your face. Stop there. <laughs> What'd you want to hear? Celine Dion? I know that too. No, I have, it's, a, it's a storytelling song writer tonight. I want to hear a song you wrote that's not on tape on your guitar right now. Oh, yeah. He's got oh. oh, throw it down. <laughs> Slow or fast? I would, I would screw I something. Sure I, something wonderful's not on here. Really? I would screw that up, I'm pretty sure. Then do it. Well, then I do it. Own it. Do it. Own it. <laughs> you stand alone in the falling snow with the melting flakes running down your face. But maybe that's a tear he's left you Standing all alone like the last time Maybe he'll come running back to you again tonight Maybe you'll go chase him down Make him change his mind 
But did he really make you feel alright in his arms tonight? Did he really make you feel like you was something wonderful? Did he really make you feel like you were the best girl? your time with a tear stain no and a bottle of wine you read it over and over again just try to make sense of the things he wrote like maybe we could build a house right next to the ocean maybe we could spend the rest of time looking in your eyes but did he really make you feel alright in his arms at night Did he really make you feel like you Was something wonderful Did he really make you feel like you Were the best girl in life And all these riddles that you find Of a love that's broken That keep you tied inside Did he really make you feel alright in his arms at night? Did he really make you feel like you were something wonderful? Did he really make you feel like you were the best girl in life? The best girl. It's been a while since I played that one. It's obvious because I had to ask a fellow singer-songwriter what the damn words were, and I wrote it. You guys mind if I take a selfie real quick? I'm just joking. All right, here's, here's, here's a song I wrote called Salt, and I know it's a weird name, but it's probably the most autobiographical song I wrote. I, 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 it's actually my favorite song right now that I wrote. I hope that doesn't sound big-headed, but I, but I, I just, I love, it's, it's just kind of about uh, just, just life and being kind of confused. I wrote, I wrote it literally in an hour, and I recorded it. I went to my recording studio, and I was like, I gotta put this song down, it just, it just you know. And uh, Eric, the guy that records me, um, I said, you have like a harmonica sound, because I think they sound really sweet in this song. And he thought, he said, well, I got something better than a harmonica, actually. And he goes and gets his grandpa's old freaking 1950s accordion out. And every time I listen to it, I get goosebumps, because it sounds so neat. And Lance said it sounded like a funeral song. But that's what big, that's what big brothers are for. Okay, <laughs> explain yourself. You explain yourself. Yeah, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. That's probably where most of my songs fit in, asshole. So anyway, I, it's, it's called Salt, and then people are like, why salt? Like, why not pepper or something? And I'm like, well, because there's a part of the song where I talk about, like, I, you know, I'm looking for my heart. Like, it's along the interstate, covered in mud and salt. And I'm thinking, what a horrible place for your heart to be. For one, it's covered in mud and salt watching life just go by, you know, and it's dirty and salt, I mean, it's going to be preserved for years. You know, like it's just getting burnt and your heart's gone and it, it can move on. So that's what I, when I first wrote the song, I thought about that. Like just, like what a horrible, yeah. Right. But, 
but I, I want you guys right, right. I just want you guys to to, to try and anybody can mimic a, a accordion sound with their mouth. I'm guessing not. I have not. Yeah. I hope it doesn't sound whiny. I'm actually a happy guy. I really am. When I wrote the song, I was in a really good mood. I was just like, apparently something from like grade school came back to piss me off, and I wrote it. But, but anyway. Jason, what are you snack? What are you? What are you mouthing off about over there? <laughs> All right, here it is. It's called salt, not pepper, not rosemary. Salt. Could you help me find myself? Trying to be someone else I took a left at the light When the world turned right Could you help me find myself? Could you help me find my heart? I threw it out at the start It's a lonely interstate coming in mud and salt. Could you help me find my heart? Oh. 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 funeral song at all. Yeah. I'm just teasing you, brother. I know we give each other a lot of shit. Um, God, I guess I have a couple songs left. This guy wants me to be done so bad. He's like, I can't stand this dude. Son of a, son of a, son of a buck. <laughs> All right, this one, I'm going to play Her Simple Life. And it's a song I wrote, uh, it's the oldest, probably the first, first song I wrote and recorded and finished. But, like a long time ago. But, um, I just remember I was, I was, you know, was talking to mom about, like, the, like how much life was simple back in the day, the 50s, 60s, I wish I grew up then. Life was just easy, you know, and then she was like, well, they're not really, you know, there's still bull crap happened, you know, there's lack of, you know, there's, there's still horrible things happened back then, it wasn't all, you know, just peaches, so, but, um, but we played the song in the band, I, I feel like you should be behind me, Jason, when I play this song, yeah, Billy, 
Not like that, dirty. You should go to church tomorrow. I didn't mean it behind me like that. But this, uh, my, my favorite thing about this song is we played in the band one time, and uh, there's a little secret when you're uh, in, a, in a band. If you ever forget the words, you can look out, especially you know, doing a song people know. And, and you can read lips, because people are like mouth and lungs. Jerry, you've done that before, haven't you? People like singing along, and you're like, Frank, I forgot the words. Usually I just make something up. Well, I, yeah, yeah. But, you something know. Dirty. Something dirty. Something dirty. Well, you're Jerry Webb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you always keep your eyes closed when I'm I'm trying to open them. See, that's an issue. I need to open them a little bit. I thought about getting toothpicks, but I, I, I uh, anyway, there's this song I played it, and we played in the, in the Broken Mojo band, and uh, I, I, I looked out, and I, 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 the, the words were like, God dang it, I forgot my own words. There's some dude I didn't know singing it. I was like, that, that, that was probably the coolest I've ever felt. But don't worry, I have like two songs left. <laughs> this guy, this guy, like now that I know he wants me to hurry and be done, I'm like, all right. <laughs> this is her simple life. And uh, I, did, I wrote it honestly. That I don't know where it came from. It's 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 99% fiction. But uh, yeah. Her simple life she gives, and a simple life she takes. One step at a time, she makes her way. The garden she grows is wild, the trees that she used to prune are gone. She sits all alone on her front porch and sings a song. La da 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 la da 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 la da 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 So one sense step is a bigger and she mess. La da 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 la da 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 la da 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 Oh, she's been too heavy. But she just can't handle this Well he's 21 and she's 18 And they're living out some sailor's dream As a drive down Old Shore Road to the lake well, He's never been this self assured She's never felt this insecure And they've never been out quite this late The radio plays was the end of her innocence Well, she's been to hell But she just can't handle this And she smiles Cause she loves herself But she cries Cause she just can't help The way it makes her feel
And she smiles cause she loves herself But she cries cause she just can't help The way it makes her feel And he lies just to feel that boy Whenever he gets paranoid Cause I don't mean that much to her Thank you.